Hey guys, happy early Thanksgiving. Today I'm gonna to be filming a get ready with me for Thanksgiving. Obviously I know Thanksgiving is tomorrow, but I wanted to film my exact makeup, look, hair, outfit, everything for you guys. I wanted to get this up for you guys so you could get ready with me and see what I'm gonna be wearing and doing with my hair and makeup for Thanksgiving. And this is a really exciting video because it is a collab with my friend Jasmine on YouTube from Juicy Jazz. I love her, I have watched her videos for so long. I think I've watched every single one of her videos she's amazing I just she's so talented and she's just so genuine like I feel like you can really see through the camera like how genuine she is which I love to find in youtubers so I absolutely love her I think you guys will love her as well so definitely check out her channel check out her get ready with me for Thanksgiving I will link it down below as well as her channel so when you guys are done watching this go ahead over to her channel and check her out and hello if you guys are coming from Jasmine's channel thank you so much I really appreciate you taking the time to check out my video as well but yeah if you guys want to see what I'm gonna be doing with my hair my makeup and my outfit for this Thanksgiving then please just keep watching and I will have all the products that I use in this video listed in the bottom bar so if you're not sure one of the products that I'm using just check down there and I'll have everything listed and links as long as I can find it online Hi you guys, so to start off I'm going in with my Cover FX Illuminating Primer to prime the skin and add a little bit of glow to my dry, dry skin. Then going in with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is their smoothing primer just to fill in my pores and make my face look super smooth for makeup and foundation application. Then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I'm putting this on an F9 Flat Top Kabuki Brush from Mojo Beauty. And I'm just going to buff this into the skin. I absolutely love this foundation, especially for days like Thanksgiving when I know my family is going to be taking a ton of pictures because it looks flawless when photographed. And I am in the shade Y335 if you are interested. For concealer, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light and just putting this in a triangle underneath my eyes to highlight and brighten that area. And then I'm also going to go ahead and bring this down the bridge of my nose and above my cupid's bow as well just to do a little bit of liquid highlighting and make my face super nice and bright. And to buff that out, I'm just using this little buffer brush from Aesthetica Cosmetics. Then to go ahead and set that, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Reserve My Cabana Powder and just set anywhere that I just applied that concealer to. Now for eyes, I'm going to go in with the Pure Minerals Eye Polish in the color Cashmere and just put this on as a base. This is like a liquid pigment, you guys. It is so amazing. I absolutely love to use this as a base for my eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Cupcake and pop this into my crease as a transition color. It looks a lot more pink, I think, in the pan than it really does when it's applied to the skin. It definitely has pink undertones, but it's not like super bright pink. I feel like the pan is deceiving like color-wise. And then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Barcelona Beach, which is just a cool toned brown shade and put that right over that cupcake just to tone down any of the peachy pinkness of it and kind of smoke out that crease. I wanted to use colors like this that are more neutral and lighter just because on Thanksgiving I didn't want to do like super dark eyes. Then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Bling and put this all over my lid. This is by far my favorite shimmery eyeshadow. I'm obsessed with it. It's so beautiful and this paired with the pigment is just so, so pretty. Then for my brows, I'm going in with Anastasia Brow Wiz in Taupe and I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. And then I'm just going in back with Makeup Geeks Barcelona Beach and putting that on my lower lash line. And then using Makeup Geeks Bling again to just highlight my brow bone area and really emphasize that arch. 
I'm gonna use this liquid liner from Jessie's Girl to go ahead and do my winged liner. You guys know I have to have winged liner even with the most neutral of looks, so I'm doing my winged liner. You guys can obviously customize it to however you want. Then I'm going in with the Ardell Wispies Lashes and lining my waterline with NYX Jumbo Liner in Milk just to really make my eyes pop and look very open and awake. Then for mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Miss Manga Rock Mascara and just layering that on my bottom and top lashes. To bronze up the skin, I'm going in with this DZ Cosmetics Bronzer and just putting this all over my face where I would naturally want to contour. I like to put this down first before I go in with harsher contour colors just to make it look a little more natural and blend a bit better. For blush, I'm going in with Max Warm Soul and just putting this on my cheeks. This is my favorite neutral blush color. You guys know I love it. And then Benefits Hula Bronzer to go ahead and contour out my cheekbones. For highlight, I'm going to go in with the Bombs Mary Luminizer and just put that on the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and above my cupid's bow. For lip liner, I'm going to go in with the NYX lip liner in the color Nude and just line my lips. Then I'm also going to go ahead and fill in my lips with this color as well, just so it will really last even while I'm eating and everything else. And then last but not least, I'm going to go in with this Gerard Lip Cream in the color Wildberry Tart just to give my lips some shine and a little bit of gloss. I love this color. It's so beautiful. Okay, so your girl was already working with second day curls, and my second day curls always look better than my first day curls. Does that happen to anybody else? So I'm just kind of going through and like playing with some of the pieces, and then I'm going in with this Redken Pillow Proof Dry Shampoo just to give me some volume and to soak up any excess oil that I have in my hair since I was on second day hair. And I do really like this because it does give a lot of volume and makes my curls look a little bit more voluminous. And I did have in my Bellamy Extensions in Ash Blonde, but voila, hair is done. Super simple and easy and now I have to get out of those pajamas so my dress is from Fashion Nova it's like a really cute just loose fitting dress which is perfect for the food baby that we're all gonna be having on Thanksgiving and then my leather jacket is just from forever 21 and then I did pair it with these little black and gold booties I got them at Nordstrom's last year and then for jewelry, I just went super simple and just threw on some gold midi rings. These are mostly from Charlotte Russe and Forever 21 as well. But yeah, that is my completed outfit, hair, and makeup for Thanksgiving. I hope you all have an awesome Thanksgiving if you're celebrating, and I'll see you very soon.